Can we all just agree that fundamentalist Christianity is not cool and that its attempts to be cool are the most disturbing thing under the sun? If you don't agree, or you just don't know what I'm talking about, I'd like to introduce you to the truth for youth. What is the truth for youth? It's a hip way of spreading the gospel to young people, endorsed by Jerry Falwell, who said that 9-11 was caused by gays and feminists. Falwell says, The Truth for Youth Bible for Teens clearly challenges today's young people about the issues they are facing today. The unique format grabs their attention with the biblical truths that will transform their lives. I recommend it. Well, kids, you've got the endorsement of this dead, bloated bigot. What more do you need? The principal product of the Truth For Youth Ministries seems to be the Truth For Youth Bible, complete with cool comics that teach kids awesome morals like how to hate gays, how to revile your own sexual urges, and of course the ever-popular how to ignore the irrefutable case for evolution. Do they have any comics about how to be kind and loving and charitable? No. Do they have any comics extolling the virtues of things like intelligence, honesty, and perseverance? <laughs> no. Do they have any comics that give teenagers a nuanced, balanced, intelligent, or even intelligible position on anything? No. Let's take a look at the comic about pornography. It opens with a pair of friends sitting in front of the computer. One of them looks like a goblin, and the other is the most generic black youth possible. It should be noted that in this version of the comic, the white kid is the one looking at porn while the black kid objects. In the previous version of the comic, it was the black kid looking at porn and the Hitler Youth looking motherfucker who was all like, No! Jesus doesn't like it when I look at naked girls! I guess they thought a comic about a scummy black person corrupting a blonde-haired, blue-eyed youth sent the wrong message. So they just flipped it around to prove how not racist they are. Jesse and Marty are sitting around looking at porn. Jesse says, Whoa, Marty! Doesn't your dad's web server have any parental controls or lockouts that he uses? Oh, that's some, uh, real good dialogue there. Very realistic. Yeah, that sounds like something a teenage boy would say. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. You know I'm a Christian. I don't want to look at porno pages. Please, go back to the soccer site we were viewing. Soccer site? Soccer site? What the fuck is there to do at a soccer site? Hey! Look! Soccer! Cool! Marty's dad shows up, and you can probably tell from his character design exactly what sort of character he is. It turns out that he lets his son watch porn. Oh, the humanity. Jesse gives Marty a big spiel about how porn is evil and Jesus hates it, and it'll make you hate women. Yes, the book that literally blames women for the moral downfall of our species and says that women should not be permitted to teach and that a man has authority over a woman, that book is calling porn misogynistic. The comic ends with Jesse going to his parents about how fucked up and evil Marty is, to which his mom replies, he needs Jesus! Uh, yeah. Marty does not need Jesus. What Marty needs is some Kleenex. That's all Marty really needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that porn is harmless. There are legitimate concerns. 
But this story is patently ridiculous. It's one-sided, simplistic, saccharine drivel. The characters are stereotypes, the dialogue is phony, the protagonist is a ludicrous ninny, and nothing about the story makes sense. Other comics include the story of a young man who finds himself at a rock concert where the singer looks like a cross between Gene Simmons and the Lizard. The singer is, of course, screaming about the obsolescence of Christian values, and there's no story to speak of. The main character just kind of leaves the show and prays with his friends. Weak! Speaking of prayer, there's a comic that makes the case that if we let prayer back into school, school shootings would stop. No sound rationale is ever provided for this position, and of course not. No sound rationale for this position even exists. Prayer isn't even banned in schools, it just cannot be mandatory. So, not only is the contention of this comic wrong, the very premise is false. The Evolution comic claims that evolution is responsible for racism. Not even kidding. Even though racist groups like the KKK are avowed Christians, and even though racism existed long before Darwin ever published his findings. Let me just ask you guys a simple question. Who do you think is more likely to be racist? An esteemed professor of evolutionary biology, or an uneducated fundamentalist Christian sitting on his couch scratching his balls? Who do you think? Who do you fucking honestly think? Is anyone dumb enough to say that they think it's more likely that the professor of evolutionary biology is racist? Yes, there actually are people stupid enough to believe that. And they wrote this fucking comic. The comic on homosexuality doesn't take an outright we hate fags approach. In fact, it rejects those who do. But its approach is hardly more progressive. According to the comic, people choose to be gay, and they can change their orientation through Christ. So you hear that, gay guys? All you have to do is pray to Jesus, and you'll start to love the pussy. And you guys who are addicted to porn, all you have to do is pray to Jesus, and you won't love the pussy anymore. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Seems like Jesus has different properties depending on who's praying. Strange. I guess Jesus is just the solution for everything. Well, you know, except for here in the real world where he's not the solution for anything. Well, that's not true. I'm being unfair. If you need an imaginary friend, I guess Jesus is okay. But there are better imaginary friends. For instance, Hobbes. That's right, Hobbes. You know, from Calvin and Hobbes. No fucking contest. Would you prefer your best friend be a tiger who goes sledding with you and talks philosophy, art, and politics? Or would you prefer to hang out with a skinny, naked, dead guy who never shuts up about the time he got tortured and makes you feel bad about it? Watching porn, huh? Well, I don't like it. And I died for your sins. So stop! Nyah. What a cunt! So don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. Have a personal relationship with Hobbes. Hobbes doesn't pull all that guilt-tripping bullshit. Hobbes is cool. 